Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. You guys know that I love a good, cheap, not as in cheap smelling, but you guys know that I love a bargain. I love to find cheap fragrances that smell incredible. And these two fragrances that I have recently picked up at um, a local big box store here in the U.S. And I know I have people that watch me from the Netherlands. I have people who watch me from all over. Um, so if you don't, aren't familiar with Walmart, it is like a Target or just a big boxed retail type of store that has everything from a pharmacy in it to garden hoses to drugstore makeup. Um, sometimes these stores have grocery in them as well. So they're just a huge, huge store with lots of product. The store that I have close to where I live happens to have a very large selection of drugstore type fragrances. And that is where I picked up this Eau de Juice, this pure sugar body mist that smells just like the Ariana Grande Cloud to me. It it's so close that you, I really couldn't tell the difference if someone had this on around me, I wouldn't know. And this was like seven or eight dollars. But they also have a line of, I wanna say they make body wash, beard oil, cologne. This is actually a men's fragrance line or a men's uh, body care line and it's called Cremo. And I've seen several people talk about this one in the fragrance community. So being the curious person that I am, I wanted to get a hold of these fragrances, at least a couple of them. I should have gotten a, a couple more, but they were out of the Cypress one that I wanted to smell of because I am a huge fan of Cypress anything. So I was really wanting to try this Cremo brand the one that they had that contained um, a large amount of Cypress, but uh, my Walmart didn't carry it. So the ones I have are bourbon vanilla and it's still in the packaging. I'll take those, take these out uh, on camera. And then I also have another one called spice and black vanilla. This one has a top note of cardamom, I think. So let's go ahead and see what these smell like, even though they say they're cologne. I want to see if these can be uh, a unisex fragrance because I do love a good unisex fragrance and I do not care that this is marketed for men or whatever. You know, if you guys watch me any length of time, you know I don't really care. I'm just after a good fragrance. Um, if it's unisex, fine. If it's marketed for men, that's fine. If it's too barbershop-ish or too cologne-y, if it has a lot of oak moss in the base, I'm probably not going to like it because that kind of, it's really a turn-off for me. It's actually a turn-off for me if, if I'm around a m male that is wearing it. But let's go ahead and uh, test this one. This first one is the Bourbon Vanilla. These are glass bottles. They're very heavy. They have Cremo etched into the sides. And of course it has this cheap, you know, metal cap. But it's a pretty, uh, pretty substantial looking bottle. Um, the front label is just a paper type of label that's covered with like a, a plastic. Um, so there's not a metal name plate here or anything like that. Not that fancy. Not for not, these were $19.99, you guys, and that's U.S. dollars. So um, if, you know, if you wanted to sit these out on your perfume tray or um, in your bathroom, which is not recommended because you're not supposed to have your fragrances around heat, humidity, huge fluctuations in temperature, et cetera, et cetera. But if you did have this sitting out, it certainly would not look bad. The packaging is not bad is what I'm getting at. And let's see what the sprayer. The sprayer is great. 
I think the sprayer is fantastic on this one actually. It kind of sprays into this mist, which I love. The fragrance itself, it does lean masculine. And what I'm going to do with these, I am going to put these on skin and wear them because I have read on Fragrantica that these change dramatically on skin. Um, so I want to give them a fair shot. This one does come off masculine. So I can see this uh, definitely being picked up by a, um, by a man. Um, but it's not very strong. It's not a super, super sweet vanilla. Even though it's bourbon vanilla, I'm not getting a, a boozy. I'm not getting a huge boozy vibe from this. There is something in here, though, maybe some vetiver or something that is cutting the sweetness down a little bit. Okay, so I am actually looking this one up on um, the internet right now. I went to Fragrantica, and they don't list this one in the lineup that they have on Fragrantica. So I had to go to the Crema website and it says it's a distinctive scent of spiced bourbon and rich oaked vanilla. So that's really all that is in here according to their website. Although, um, let, me, let me bring the iPad over. Although their website does show um, if you can see here, it does show like some orange, uh, orange, like the zest of an orange or the orange rind. And it shows cinnamon. I think that is star anise there or anise, star anise, anise. I've always heard it called star anise. And then over on the other side, there's that big vanilla flower, vanilla pod. And then behind it back here is like an oak barrel. Uh, I don't get any of the, <laughs> I do not get anything from this but just a plain woody vanilla it's not complex it's not it's just not that deep um, I think this would be an easy reach for a guy that is um, working in an office that just wants to have an easy reach a good 1999 fragrance that you know you can wear every day kind of be your signature scent like I said, it's very inoffensive. I would not think the sillage would be that great on this one. And I don't know about longevity because I just sprayed it here on camera. But overall, um, I would not be afraid to wear this one myself. Uh, and I plan to do that over the next couple of days and let you guys know. Just wanted to mention that this is a um, an EDT version, so it's probably not going to have that much longevity. But I will spray this on skin and on clothing and see how it performs and let you guys know on this one. The other one is the Spice and Black Vanilla. And this one has this obnoxious packaging. So I will go ahead and open this one up. Okay, I finally got this one out of the packaging. You can see how I had to basically dig it out of here with a pair of scissors. So that was annoying. Um, but this is their Spice and Black Vanilla. And uh, looking on Fragrantica, it has top notes of cardamom, middle notes of cashmere wood, and then the base is, again, bourbon vanilla and vetiver. So let me take a look. I think before that oak, it was almost like a wet oak. Oops. It was almost like a wet oak type of scent. And I think that's why I thought it was vetiver because it had a really earthy undertone to it. And I think that was why I said it smelled like it had vetiver. This one really does have vetiver. Let's give this one a try and see what we think of this one. And if you guys have these, if your uh, significant other has these, if you have these guys, gals, let me know down in the comment section. Um, Again, this one is the Spice and Black Vanilla. Yeah, so right off the bat, I get this spicy cardamom. This almost reminds me of Spice Bomb, one of them. Maybe the Spice Bomb Extreme, but it smells like it's mixed with something else. 
but it still is, this one to me is more unisex than the other. The Bourbon Vanilla, I can totally see myself wearing this. And again, I will wear this one as well. I'll probably wear one on one arm and one on the other and just kind of get it over with and try to figure out, you know, what is what. Um, I definitely get the cardamom. It's definitely a spicy top note. And this is more complex. Um, again, I can see where there's some vanilla in there. It's not really coming out at this point, but I can tell there's some depth to this. And I don't know if the vanilla is going to end up you know, like really sweet or whatever, but just all first spray, this is not a very sweet fragrance either. So overall out of these two, and like I said, I will review the Cypress one at some point, but out of both of these, I definitely like the spice and black vanilla. I think that would be a gorgeous scent for fall and winter. This other one though, the bourbon vanilla, I can see this one being worn any time of year. You can wear that one in the heat. You could wear this one when it is cold. I don't think it would really matter. Um, I just do think if you're looking for a more, um, a more deeper type of fragrance that develops and offers you a little bit more than just a linear woody vanilla scent, I think that this spice and black vanilla is probably going to be your best choice. Now, when I was at my Walmart earlier, you can see that I did a quick scan through the fragrances that Cremo had to offer, and it was clear that this Spice and Black Vanilla was the most favorite because it had a, <laughs> it had a, um, a, an opening there where people had, you know, picked up their fragrances and, you know, had that like little gap at the front. So obviously that one had been uh, shopped a little bit harder than the others, but I do think both of these are a good choice. If you're looking for a very, very inexpensive fragrance that um, can really be worn by, by anyone really. Yeah. So Anyway, guys, that is all I have for you today. I will do a wear test on these and you will see me wear these for my what I wore this week video the week of Memorial Day um, because this is the week before Memorial Day right now. So I'll be wearing these this week and then talk about them next week. So if you want to know how these performed, if you want to know my deeper thoughts on these, check that video out next week. But until next time, be prepared for my 25 fragrances under $25. I'm not going to be including these since I've talked about these and dedicated a video to these already. So uh, there are going to be 25 fragrances under $25 at the time I'm making this video. Now, if you come back and you watch this video at a later date, then I cannot guarantee you that these fragrances are still going to be $25, but at the time, that I am doing this video, these fragrances were under $25 and I got them either at my local TJ Maxx, local Marshalls, local um, Ross, places like that, or even Burlington, or I got them from FragranceNet, FragranceX, one or two of them I may have gotten from Macari. So I do want to talk about them, but usually if they are like, like I would not talk about a $50 fragrance that I got off of Macari at a steal for like $10. Cause I know you're not gonna be able to get it for, you know, $25 out in the real world. So I have deleted those out of the pile, but um, the ones I'm showing you truly I got at a decent price and they were under $25. So make sure that you are subscribed to my channel, make sure your notifications are set to all so that when I upload that video, you will know that it's coming. I do know that the 20 fragrances under $20 part one and two was an absolute hit. Um, I'll put one of the links up here to the, to that video, um, that the views on those videos are ridiculous. So it tells me that this is a, a very hot type of topic. People love to smell good under $25 and you never know what you're going to see with these videos. You may see a hidden gem. I personally do not watch a lot of fragrance YouTube videos, so 
I don't know if some of these are already talked about. I know one in particular I have never even heard of myself. I actually did a quick search and could not find anything on the fragrance. So um, hopefully you guys will find a new fragrance. You will find a new cheapie that you have not heard about before and you can share it with someone that you love, maybe a friend or your spouse, significant other, partner, uh, brother, sister, mother, whatever. So anyway, guys, that is the only two fragrances that I have to bring to you today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And again, don't forget to subscribe and hit your notifications. Set it to all so you'll know when my next video is coming. And until next time, guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.